There are many ways to access these healing systems in your body, and they're each slightly different. They all do very similar things. So we have what we call intermittent fasting. I think most people, when they say that, mean time-restricted eating, meaning they eat within an eight or a 10 or 12 hour window, meaning you don't eat for 12, 14, or 16 hours a day. That's what we call time-restricted eating. And that's been extensively studied, and it's great for weight loss, for improving your metabolism, for helping with a whole host of chronic illnesses. The second is true intermittent fasting, which may be a 24-hour or a 36-hour fast once a week, or it could be a three-day fast once a month. There's a lot of ways to do it. Then there's what we call fasting mimicking diets, which are calorie-restricted. So you need, like say, 800 calories a day for five days. Dr. Walter Longo, who wrote The Longevity Diet, he's been on the podcast. He's done a lot of research on that and has millions of dollars in NIH funding to look at how it affects cancer, heart disease, diabetes, aging, and, and so many other things. And because your body thinks it's starving, it's you're, you're not eating enough calories, but your body's still getting some energy so you can function better, but it's really a very powerful system. And then there's the ketogenic diet, which is sounds like you know, you're still eating, but and you can do keto with time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting too, but keto itself is what happens to the body when we stop eating. When you have no food, your body starts to burn your body stores of fat. Now what's fascinating is we have about 2,500 calories of carbohydrate stored in our tissues as glycogen in our muscle. So when you do the carb loading for a workout, that's what they're trying to do, trying to fill up your glycogen stores. The problem is if you're if you're doing a, a long marathon run, I mean, I went for a 50 mile bike ride and I saw you know my calorie burn and I was like 2,300 calories towards the end of it, and I'd sort of run out of gas from my glycogen. But the body has about 30 to 40,000, maybe more, depending on your weight, can have a lot more calories of fat. So wouldn't it be better if you could burn the fat? So your body is like a hybrid car, electric and gas. The gas is carbohydrates and it burns dirty. The keto, which is fat, burns clean. So your cells can burn fat or carbs. And when you burn fat, it, again, it's it's often that we had to do that because we were in a state of starvation. It activates all the same healing mechanisms. So ketogenic diets can have been shown to reverse cancer, have been shown to be helpful in Alzheimer's, have reverse type 2 diabetes, the work of Verda Health and our colleagues and friends there, Sarah Halberg and Sammy, have shown that we can reverse type 2 diabetes even in advanced cases using a ketogenic diet because it activates all these healing repair mechanisms. There's no drug on the planet that can reverse diabetes. We manage diabetes. You know, we do we do chronic disease management by giving them drugs and insulin and we keep their blood sugar ideal and manage all their risk factors, which is nonsense because when you understand how the body works, you can work with it rather than against it and activate these healing systems. So ketogenic diets do the same thing. And then lastly, there's there's true true calorie restriction for long-term diets. And this is the only thing in animal studies that has really shown to extend life by a third. So in a human terms, that means if you ate a third less calories, you'd live a third longer. Instead of, you live a, instead of living to 80, you'd live to 120. I know people who are on this calorie restriction for life. There's a whole society and I met some of them. I'm like, what do you, so what do you eat? I'm like, well, I have five pounds of celery for breakfast and I have three pounds of tomatoes for lunch. I'm like, that doesn't sound like fun. Uh, I'm gonna skip that. And so what ha what's been happening is that scientists have been exploring how to activate the same mechanisms that control aging without having to starve yourself your whole life, because that doesn't seem like fun. So there's little hacks and tricks that you can use, like time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting, fasting mimicking diets, ketogenic diets, all can be ways to access that same healing system in the body. If you love that last video, you're gonna love the next one. Check it out here.